Good day Grade 11 Bonifacio, I'm Anthony and I'm thrilled to be your tour guide for today's exciting journey through Philippine history. Run us at my assistance so get ready to embark on an enriching exploration spanning from our rich pre-colonial heritage to the vibrant contemporary era. Pay close attention as I'll be sharing valuable insights throughout our excursion and be sure to stay engaged because at the conclusion of our lesson, I'll be assigning an intriguing seatwork activity. This artwork before you exemplifies the rich tapestry of paintings and artistic expressions prevalent during our pre-colonial period. Now, the second image showcases the literary masterpieces of the era, capturing the essence of intellectual and creative prowess during that time. Even prior to the arrival of the Spaniards, Filipinos had already cultivated a rich literary tradition, primarily transmitted through oral storytelling. Works such as the epic Ibalon from Bicol, the Muslim epic Darangan, the Palawan epic Kundaman, the Ifagao Alim, the Maranao Bantugan, the Panay epic Hinalawod, and the Manobo epic Tuwaang stands as testaments to the diverse and vibrant literary landscapes of pre-colonial Philippines. Now, Grade 11 Bonifacio, these paintings depict the life and art of the Filipinos during the pre-colonial period. Can you express your thoughts about them? Wow, your contributions have been truly insightful. Are there any further questions before we delve into the Spanish period? Great, let's proceed. The Spanish missionaries played a pivotal role in spreading Catholicism in the Philippines by utilizing local languages for religious teachings. This initiative led to the emergence of Ladinos, indigenous individuals who become fluent in Spanish. Among them, Gaspar Aquino de Belen and Fernando Bagong Banta stand out as notable figures primarily known for their devotional poetry. Bagong Banta's Salamat ng Walang Hanggan or Gracias de Sinsem Piternas, featured in Memorial de la Vida Cristanan Lengua Tagla in 1605, encapsulates the fundamental Catholic beliefs. Meanwhile, the Belen's Ang Mahal na Pasyon ni Jesucristong Panginoon Natin na Tola, written in 1704, is recognized as the first Pasyon, a significant religious narrative. Another prominent literary form during the Spanish period was the Comedia, also known as Moro Moro, which depicted the conflict between Muslims and Christians. Despite the consistent triumph of the Muslims in these performances, they remained popular among the locals. Notably, José de la Cruz, a skilled poet from 1746 to 1829. This piece is arguably the most celebrated metrical romance in Philippine literature. Florante at Laura was penned by none other than Francisco Balagtas, renowned as the master of traditional Tagalog poetry. In 1880, Pedro Baterno made history by publishing the first collection of poems written in Spanish by a Filipino. Additionally, he authored Ninay in 1885, a novel in Spanish considered to be the inaugural Filipino novel, further solidifying his literary legacy. Jose Rizal, revered as the national hero of the Philippines, was a prominent ilustrado, recognized for his pivotal contributions to literature. He authored the seminal works Noli en Mitangere and El Filibusterismo, which vividly portray the corruption and oppression perpetrated by Spanish politicians and clergy during that era. Through his insightful narratives, Rizal shed light on the societal injustices prevalent during Spanish colonial rule, leaving an indelible mark on Philippine history and literature. The stirring poem, Pag-ibig sa Tinubuang Lupa, was penned by none other than Andres Bonifacio, the esteemed founder of the Katipunan. This work was first published in March 1896 in Calayaan, the official newspaper of the Katipunan, serving as a rallying cry for patronism and a fervent love for one's homeland. Renowned for her poetic prowess in both Ilocano and Spanish, Leona Florentino is esteemed as the pioneer of Philippine women's literature. In fact, 20 of her poems were preserved and exhibited across Europe, showcasing the depth of her talent and universality of her themes. In a significant recognition of her contributions, these poems were later incorporated into the International Encyclopedia of Women's Works in 1889. Now that we've delved into the rich tapestry of the pre-colonial and Spanish colonial periods, let's journey forward to explore the significant historical events of the American period. Following the culmination of the Filipino-American War in 1903, Filipino writers rekindled their pens, infusing their works with a fervent sense of nationalism. This resurgence in literary output encompassed a diverse array of genres including news reporting, poetry, short stories, plays, essays, and novels. 
English language writers in particular drew inspiration from American themes and literary techniques, seeking to emulate the style and approach prevalent in American literature of the time. This period marked a significant chapter in Philippine literature as writers sought to assert their cultural identity while navigating the influences of colonial rule. During the American period, notable literary works emerged showcasing the depth and diversity of Filipino talent. Paz Marquez Benitez's Dead Stars and Jose Garcia Villas's Footnote to Youth stand out as exemplary pieces that captivated readers with their poignant narratives and insightful reflections on life and society. Additionally, newspapers played a crucial role in fostering literary activity and discourse during this period. Publications such as El Nuevo Dia, El Grito del Pueblo, and El Renacimiento served as vibrant platforms for literary expression, providing avenues for writers to share their perspectives, engage with current events, and contribute to ongoing dialogue shaping Philippine literature and culture. During this era, a selection of notable plays emerged, including Kahapon, Ngayon, at Bukas, written by Aurelio Tolentino, Tanikalang Ginto of Juan Abad, Malaya by Thomas Remedio, and Walang Sugat by Severino Reyes. Do you understand grade 11 Bonifacio? If you have no further questions, let's proceed to the final part of our exploration. The contemporary period dawned upon the Philippines with the regaining of independence on July 4, 1946. The people of the Philippines assume the status of an independent nation. The transfer is made on the 4th of July, a day full of significance for these Yanks. Huge crowds jam Manila to watch the birth of the Republic, which regains its independence through the voluntary action of the American people. In a message, President Truman assured our continued support. In the contemporary period, Tagalog literature experienced a resurgence, centering on themes that delved into Japanese brutalities, pervasive poverty, and heroic exploits of the guerrilla fighters. Among the noteworthy works from this era are Hearts of the Islands, 1947, Philippine Cross Section, 1950, Prose and Poems, 1952, Philippine Writing, 1953, Philippine Harvest, 1957, Who Spoke of Courage in His Sleep, 1977, and Speak Not Speak, 1978. These work not only captured the essence of the tumultuous times, but also served as a testament to the resilience and spirit of Filipino people amidst adversity. During this period, a wave of activism swept through the youth, finding expression through rebellious literature in campus newspapers. At around 1950, the Palangka Memorial Awards for Literature has served as a prestigious platform for recognizing and awarding the exceptional talents of Filipino writers. Following the martial law period, Philippine literature witnessed a shift in thematic exploration, with a notable emergence of romantic and revolutionary themes. Moreover, music became a powerful medium for conveying sentiments and aspirations, with many songs delving into themes of grief, poverty, the longing for freedom, devotion to God, and love for country and humanity. Thank you for listening, Great Eleven Bonifacio. Your engagement has been remarkable and I'm confident in your readiness for our upcoming quiz. Are you ready? Please pay close attention to Rona as she provides instructions for your individual tasks.